Hi everybody, it's John here and I've got Emma here today who works with Alakazam. Nice to meet you today, Emma. Nice to meet you. And we're going to have some fun with a deck of cards. Do you play cards? Um, ish. Ish. Okie dokie. All I want you to do is mix those cards any way you like. You can do one of those Las Vegas shuffles, you can shuffle in your hands. I just want you to do what you feel comfortable with. And then when you're happy with that, I want you to turn the pack face up and then put it on the table, please. That's lovely. And I want you to cut the pack into two halves. Now, I love football, Emma, and they, the commentator often says, oh, that was a game of two halves, you know, Liverpool on top the first half, Manchester United in the second half, yeah? And uh, let's make this even more interesting. I want you to cut another packet just there. Because three's a magic number, and why don't you make one last packet by cutting there? And see how you've cut to a wide range of cards here. Some black, some red, some mid-value. Aces can be low or higher, one or 11, yeah? Gamblers, though, they play poker, and they have a game called, after a game of poker, they're called Cut the High Card. And they just throw money in just for the fun of it. So 10's quite high. So just cut off a packet towards you just there and see if you can beat 10. Ah, oh, it's a 7. Put that packet back on there, please. That packet on there, please. That's lovely, Emma. You've done this before. Cut that packet. See if you can beat a 9. Ah, oh, 2. But it's it's random, yeah? And you shuffled, you cut, you yep. did everything. Why don't you cut that packet? Try and beat 7. You didn't, but no problem. It wasn't no. easy. It was in the middle. Aces are 1, so I've got every faith in you now, Emma. Cut off a packet. Ah, you beat it that time. So I think it was two out of four, so that ain't bad. And put them on there. Yeah. The fact of the matter is, Emma, when you shuffle a pack of cards, there are mathematicians, statisticians, easy for me to say, uh, geeks, if you like, number crunchers, who will say you can shuffle a pack of cards, but you'll never shuffle it into that order again as long as you live, which okay. is kind of like weird, you know? But let me ask you a question. Would you say those cards are well mixed? Yes. Pretty well mixed, yeah? Let me ask you a question about the colours. Remember, you shuffled. Would you say there's more red cards or black cards there? Black. Okie dokie. Let's flip that question on, on its head. Would you say there's more black than red there? No. Which one? More red. Okie dokie. Then make it tough for you now. Would you say there's more odds? Yeah. Or evens there? Have a guess. Uh, odds. Yeah. Okie dokie. And um, what we'll do is just gather these up. And remember, you shuffle, yeah? Mm -hmm. Put your hand on top of the pack so I can't touch the cards. I can't do anything. You see, I made a prediction before I came here, though, while I was on the train. Got bored, so I took a card from another deck, a blueback deck. And that card is a Ten of Diamonds, yeah? Quite right. a good card, right? Yeah. But the fact of the matter is, everyone, Emma shuffled the cards thoroughly. Emma cut the cards, randomised the cards. She'll never repeat that order, as I said, as long as you live. Do you like surprises? Mm. Lift up your hand, turn over that top card, and show everybody what you've got. <gasps> and there is a Ten of Diamonds, a perfect match. Mm -hmm.